Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our gaming review on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Yes, I did a gaming video where I played PUBG and I was shooting without bullets in my gun. So yeah, I've rectified all that. So we'll get to see some real solid and good gameplay in this video. We're going to be checking out a bunch of games. We're going to be checking out PUBG Mobile. We'll be checking out uh, P, uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2019, uh, Asphalt 9, Vainglory, Fortnite, and Call of Duty uh, Mobile. Yes, I got to play that on the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus. Uh, word is that that, device, that game is actually going to be a launch title for uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus on August 23rd. It's not confirmed. I'm just just telling you what I've heard, but I got to play it at a Samsung event. Uh, so you get to see some of that gameplay in this video. Now the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a 6.8 inch device, lovely display, uh, it's got a 10 megapixel front facing camera, which allows you to record your gameplay and capture your face. And we'll talk about that more in this video. Uh, Snapdragon 855 processor, 12 gigs of RAM, uh, you know, it's got liquid cooling uh, built into the back of the device. It's got a 4300 milliamp battery, so longer battery. It's got fast charging at 25 watts, super fast at 45 watts. Uh, so it's got everything you need to game well on a device like this. Plus, you've got the Samsung Game Center that allows you to do a few things, and that's going to be updated with Discord, so you can actually conversate with friends. So I can't wait to see that. The biggest thing that is not available right now is Play Galaxy Link. That feature is coming up in September, and once it comes out, I will definitely showcase it for you. Now, without wasting any more time, let's jump in and check out some gameplay, and we'll start off with Call of Duty Mobile.
In terms of gaming, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus handles everything like a champ. Smooth, fast, frame rates were solid all around. That's one thing I do want Samsung to incorporate into the game center, is being able to see your frame rates uh, and also more features there. Now it's nice that it's there, it's nice to add in Discord, but I'd like to see more features on that. But in terms of gaming performance, uh, it's rock solid. You've got enough RAM, uh, you've got of course a fast uh, storage with UFS 3.0. Uh, you've got performance that you can clearly see this thing just handles games very well. Now, the other option uh, aspect too is that you can record your gameplay. This is a really cool option and you can also record your voice and uh, of course music or, or audio from the game. The downside too is that it doesn't actually record uh, I believe from within the system or externally. So you have to have your volume up to, for you to get the audio from the game while you're talking. If you don't care about talking, that's fine. But the ability to capture yourself while gaming is pretty nice. I like that feature. Uh, hopefully that gets updated where it actually captures internally and we get better audio mix there. Because I dropped a video and it was a little bit murky. Uh, but overall, I think the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a fabulous device. If you're going to uh, buy this and you want to do some gaming, it will handle all your gameplay sessions really well. And in terms of battery loss, I would say about an hour of gameplay, a uh, full solid hour of gameplay, I lost about close to 20%. And this is playing games like PUBG, Mobile, Fortnite, and then also Vainglory, which those were the three games I spent the first hour just playing. And when it comes to temperatures, uh, it was quite interesting. Most games came in at normal temperatures, about 97 degrees Celsius, uh, sorry, 97 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and that was fine. But PUBG at max settings, uh, especially uh, when gaming for about, say, 30 to 40 minutes, uh, then it reached about 109 degrees in terms of temperatures and that's in Fahrenheit so yeah, that's about 42 degrees Celsius so it ran pretty hot I don't know if that's something that has to do with optimization uh, everything else ran rather cool and was fine PUBG was the only one that I noticed that had higher temperatures so that's what you get with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus well if you like what you see let me know if you don't like what you see let me know also don't forget I'm giving away a Galaxy Note 10 with my friends from speaking with two speaking cases. I'll leave a link for you guys down below so you can enter into that giveaway. It's got a few more days left before I announce the winner. And hey, you can get yourself a Galaxy Note 10 and do some gaming as well. So this is Thunder E saying thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.